What's up, my fishies? Welcome back to another Travel Thursday. Your boy, Doc Kane, Southern Fishy Studios. And today's travel adventure for this Thursday is Duncan Lake. If you didn't check out the thumbnail or read the description, I mean, hey, here we are. We're at Duncan Lake and how you get here, if you use GPS, be warned, because you will end up on a dirt road. Now, to get to Duncan Lake, GPS took me to Main Street Marlowe and had me hang a left and took me on the highway to Duncan Lake Road and followed it all the way here and when you come in there's a big pavilion and a permit station with restrooms that also have a shower there's just like all the rest of the duncan lakes you know fuqua humphreys clear creek you know all of them you know it's got a lot of the same stuff it's just set up a little different you know, luckily the permit station is right as you come in and, and the GPS will tell you to circle back around down this other road and on around and takes you to what I call a dead end party spot. And in the car, it's a little bit on the sketchy side. And of course, today we've got a handy dandy wireless mic. So hopefully that helps out with the sound quality a little bit. I know we've had a bit of an issue on Travel Thursdays outdoor doing videos before, so picked it up on Amazon pretty cheap. It was came with two mics, little adapter, and did a little mic check before I got out of the car and shows to be working. So fingers crossed, audio is good. You can hear, hear me perfectly because it is a little bit windy today. So first, let me just say that it's getting that time of year where figuring out the travel Thursday is a little bit awkward. I've got a few things in the works. I'm waiting to hear back. Hopefully we'll hear something soon and be able to bring those to you. It's getting into you know, mid-October and going to the lake's a little iffy for me. I'm, I'm kind of a summer guy. I know I've mentioned that before in another travel Thursday. But where we're at right now, once you leave the permit station, instead of circling back like GPS tells you to, just go on straight and it'll bring you down to this area. We are currently at the swimming area you can see the boat dock over here pull your boat up Ooh, I hear some fishies jumping behind me although a fisherman at the fish house over here said that he hasn't got a bite all day but anybody that goes fishing a lot they know that that's part of the deal they've got ample trailer hookups as you can see a trailer off in the distance there playground for the kids big nice pavilion that you can rent out a porta giant up the hill there and on the other side of the hill where you see ruby there there's the fish house pretty nice lake today the water seems pretty good pretty calm do the slow pan so you can take a look around and of course past that far peak over there that's round about where it gps dropped me off at was that cliff over there and i'm sure it's probably a good fishing spot if you got a boat it's kind of treacherous getting over there in a little car but truck you jeep you know something off road you'd be just fine you know it's a little sketchy in a car but i made it there and back switch back around here so without turning it off we're just gonna walk on up the hill here 
Oh. Legs are kind of tired after a long night of work, but hey, I do what I got to do, right? Pretty good little trek up the hill. For those that have a little issue with that, flip it back. And of course, you know, you want a nice spot to throw a blanket. It's not too incredibly rough. Nice little ledge here. I mean, gorgeous views out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Reminds me of how Chickasha Lake used to be back when I was younger. Of course, we got the, I believe that's the dam there. I'm sure there's pretty good fishing off of that. You can see a road there that goes down beside it. Not real sure how to get to that road there, but I'm sure people that are familiar with the area know how to do it. This is the fishing house here at Duncan Lake. We'll take a walk on down and you can see they have a wheelchair accessible ramp. So if you're in need of that kind of extra mobility, they do indeed have it. Bass limit, five per day, 14 inch minimum. Crappie limit, 20 per day, eight inch minimum. Walk on down here and check it out. And I see a bobber that looks like it's still in pretty good shape. It looks like it got hung up on a tree there. Of course, oh, there's also a lure hanging off of the tree in front of it there. Too bad we don't have a boat. We'd go rescue that, have some lake treasure for the day. Of course, I, when I first got to the lake, I found a still good and usable bright yellow foam bomb bobber call that a win for the day now granted this fish house isn't nearly as nice overall as the one at Humphreys as you can see most of the all the windows are uh, boarded up But there is ample light in here. Plenty of room to set up and fish your day away. I would rate it at least as clean as Humphreys on the inside. Floor's in good shape all around walked around it before i started filming didn't see really any issues with having to watch where you walk of course you do have to watch out for these little guys there's quite a few of their nests embedded in the roof up there but of course, that's any outside building. And of course, spiders. Spiders are helpful in getting rid of annoying insects. going to go get the rod and maybe we'll cast out a few times you know I kind of wish I'd have done this a little bit sooner <laughs> a 
but at least it's a nice day to go to the lake. Not too hot, not too cold. Gotta watch out for that wasp there. Don't want to get stung. I'm not highly allergic like some folks, but it's definitely not good if I get stung. grab a couple of rods and of course you have to have fishing permit you know lots of permits for various activities here at Duncan Lake we're gonna grab the pole here uh, well I guess we'll try this one because Well, I tell you, I'm all time getting the rods tangled up inside the car. And I know, I know, you got a truck, use it. Well, <laughs> per usual, Miss Lily is giving me another problem to deal with. Ow. Well, that didn't feel good. I just hooked myself on the other one. See if we can get down low here. There's quite a few people coming to the fishing docks, so we don't want to interrupt them with our video. So we'll come down here to the ledge and see if we can find a, this looks like a good spot to set the camera. Get things readjusted here. Ooh. Just seen a fish jump right out there. Let's see if we can catch it. First things first though, we gotta get the camera in position. Because we definitely do not want to have the same situation that we had at Humphreys. Or not Humphreys, Hefner. I apologize because I did crack my screen and that was not fun. Let's see if we can. There we go. That art to do. We're going to start out with a lake treasure I found. This rod and reel combo with that little bugger right there. See if we can't catch this fish. Because I just really don't want to have to break out the tackle bag. Hopefully y'all can hear me alright. I won't know until I watch it back later. And Boy, this thing casts nice. Pretty sure that was a gunshot. Shotgun, maybe. I think we got hunting season coming up here. I'm not much of a hunter. I don't. I don't like going killing the defenseless animal. <laughs> A 
It'd be great if we get something. I'd like to catch me a pretty good sized bass. See if we can show up old Ben Mill Milliken. That'd be hilarious. Ooh, that's a good guess. I really haven't fished with this rod. I haven't changed the line out or anything. It's just as I found it. Smaller pound test line on it. If that was a lot further than my big sport rod that I'm always using. Of course, both reels are Zepcos, but This one's a 33, and the other one, I believe, is my 808. Of course, I like I like the big reels and rods because I honestly like going to the river. And after the river, you kind of need something a bit heavier duty. And I think I've got 60-pound test line on it. I'm surprised that I'm not really getting a reaction here. I don't know if y'all can see just how far out that's going, but that goes out further than my other one. This seems to be a pretty good spot to fish. I mean, not getting hung up on nothing. Not a lot of weeds and such like that like out of birchy kill for just one good bite i mean this little swim bait i mean pretty realistic i had never really used these before Kind of nice. Now I keep seeing little V's jetting out that way. Which makes me think that there's fish in the area. Sweat bee trying to get me. Just don't think they're feeling it today. And I'm sure a lot of people is going to complain about how I'm holding the reel and oof, all that, but you know what? You do you, I'll do me, and we'll get along just fine. Because I like having my rod and reel in a certain position when I'm fishing. Yeah, that's a big old fish jump right over there. But I don't think I can make it out that far. Not even close. Oh, there's the one that see me. I know he did. I seen him turn around.
I don't know. I get the feeling if I had a live one, live minute, I might get some action. I don't know about y'all, but I kind of like days like this. Nice gentle breeze, sun's out, down at the water. It's peaceful. It's a zen moment, if you will. Not a care in the world, just trying to find the fish. And I'm sure if I had a boat, I could probably find the fish, especially if I had a fish finder. And for those of you wondering, no, I still don't have my little pedal boat, but I'm still looking. Keep looking for the right one that's the right price. Should have jumped on the one that I found the first time that gave me the idea. But we know how that goes. Think, oh, yeah, they ain't going to sell it for that price. I'll, I'll wait a little bit, see if they come down on the price. And then they don't come down on the price. They sell it, and you miss out. Of course, right about now, one o'clock in the afternoon, I should before he'd been in bed about a few hours ago, but can't go to bed until I've made a video for y'all, so here I be trying to get a fish. Ooh, I felt that. We may be in business here shortly, folks. Felt a little little bump on the line just see try it one more again see if we can't get us one because nothing would make my day better than to get a fish on camera Cause it never fails every time I put the phone down that's when I get something man I shut the camera off put it down I end up getting a fish of course I kind of wonder if <clears throat> one of my other lures might do better make a little more racket as it comes around maybe get their attention but that means digging in the back seat breaking the bag out unzipping it finding which box lure wants in and honestly we just ain't got time for all that i just want to do a little fishing go home go to town maybe Swing by Burger King and give me a bite to eat and, and call it a day. I won't tell you what I have for breakfast. It's definitely not something I'd recommend for breakfast, but it's something quick. I'm hot. And it made my tummy not grumble. So I guess it it constitutes as a meal, right? Maybe. <laughs> I'll tell you, if we don't get no nibbles on this one, we may just call it a day. Because I feel my tummy grumbling again. Saying, feed me. I 
Yeah, we'll cast out one more again. Of course, I get the sneaking suspicion that if I broke out the dough bait, well, throw it out there to let it hit the bottom, we'd probably get catfish. I know what I said. I know what I said. But I'm sure y'all probably caught that fish jumping over there it's worth a shot right well it's two more throws right right Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything today. Maybe another time. Makes me a little sad, it does. I'd have liked to have been able to get one on film for you, but it is what it is, folks. That's all that it is. And, I mean, there's always next time. There we are. So, Again, we gave it our best. Like I said, pretty sure got a little nibble. Now, tell me something. Why would you leave a set of tongs at the lake? makes no sense I mean yeah it'd be good to grip the lip get the hook out and yes sir yes I'm, I'm throwing it in the car another gunshot that or it's a well sight probably well That'd be my guess anyways. Get things resituated here. Well, just kind of walk this shore and see if maybe we can't find some more lake treasure. I wouldn't say no to a few few more lures <coughs> oh there's a froggy boy I bet you if we put him on a hook we'd get some what do you think 
I bet we would. When I'm looking for lake treasure, I like to walk around the shoreline, you know, get a little, a little close to the water. Sometimes I'll put my wading boots on and walk out in the water. Because sometimes you can find a lot more in the water. And look at here. Good thing I picked up these tongs. Bait anybody? Oh, there's another one. No sense in leaving them on the bank. See if it draws any fish up. <laughs> and, you know, it just might. I mean, I doubt I'm going to find a whole lot of fishing gear here in the swimming area. But I will tell you from years of experience, swimming areas make good fishing areas. Because they're usually smooth enough that the bait fish will swim right up into it. And if the bait sw fish are swimming into it, guess what's behind them? That's right, the catching fish. This following Din Din. Yeah, I don't believe we're going to find much in the way of lake treasure today makes me sad a little bit because I do like finding lake treasure but looking for lake treasure number three Looking for lake treasure, you're just looking for something that's a little out of place in the water or even on the bank. Because, you know, when lake levels are high, people forget that there's rocks or a tree or something like that, kind of like the bobber and the lure that we saw hooked on that tree back yonder. And when that happens, you know, what do you do? You break off the line, trying to get it free. Sometimes you're successful, but a lot of times we know you're not, right? And you lose your stuff, your lures, your hooks, your weights, your bobbers. Well, there's some little mosquito fish. Ooh, a few schools. So that means we're getting to an area we might be able to catch fish after all. I mean, one can hope, right? Because where there's bait fish, there's generally a big fish. At least that's what I've always been told. And of course, I always look further up on the bank, especially when the water level is down, kind of like it is right now, as you can see behind me here. Because a lot of times, this stuff back in here will catch your lure, and you end up breaking it off. I'll flip the camera around here. So Get these on camera. Can you see them? That tells me, along with all those over there, that there should be some fish around in here somewhere. 
At least one would hope. Of course, I'm not sure that I can do a one-handed cast and reel, but and I'm probably not going to try it. I mean, my luck, I'd drop the phone, I'd break it, and you'd never get to see this video. And that would upset me greatly. Definitely not seeing a whole lot of treasure. Of course, sometimes that happens, especially if it's more active late. You know, people, people come out more, they find stuff more. Of course, you know, when I first got down here, I kind of wondered about this backwater here. I mean, me personally, I would think there is some fish in that, buddy. And since there's a little bridge right here, we're just going to go across it. And we may just find out. I mean, it does feed on in to the lake. Right there. Down over here. We're just going to walk around this way here follow this trail and just see what we can do and hopefully not drop the camera oh i see a bobber that got hung up on a tree out there see that's what i'm talking about and i mean this little section here i mean if you can get a boat through right there I would figure there'd be some good fishing in here. Of course, probably a lot of lost lures, too. That would be my guess. I don't know if you can see that down there, but that's a pretty good sized skeleton there. So, obviously. There's some pretty big ones out here. It's just a matter of finding where they're hiding. Hey, there's a treasure bucket. You never know what you're going to find. Oh, now see, why, why do people have to throw tires in the water? See if we can make our way down here and fish that out. Because contrary to popular belief, that is not good for the environment. Oh, looky here. Look at what we got sitting on the tire. We got us a little snake. I ain't too worried about him, though. I'm just going to use the tip of my rod and give him a little nudge to go find him another spot. I'm going to get this, see if we can get this tire up out of here. Looks to be a, whew, that's a pretty good size lawnmower tire there. Oh, full of water. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I turned y'all upside down. Never wish direction. Well, that didn't go well. And I don't have the boots with me. Went to set it there. And down it went. Well, we tried. That damn it. Well, I 
guess the other side would probably be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll just keep on following the trail on around. Give it a shot from the other side. How about it? I think that little spot right over there would be a good spot. Like I said, I'd like to get a fish on camera for y'all. <clears throat> good little walk around here. Good log for splitting up in the firewood. Yes, sir. -y. Make some fine firewood. Whew. Ooh, better watch where I'm walking. I almost went off in a hole and threw y'all in the water. Again. That'd have been bad news bears. <laughs> Bug on the camera. Luckily it wasn't on y'all's side. Hey look, there's a turtle down there. Picking his little head up. Probably trying to figure out what's going on up here. And I mean, whew, hopefully I got that on camera. So that's what I'm saying, folks. You got a boat. You get off in here. You'd definitely catch one. You'd have to, right? I mean, how could you not? What a buddy of mine would say is prime time. Of course, I don't know. I, I really haven't had any luck in areas such as that, other than the night that I caught a carp at Fuqua. It was out amongst the trees like that. Another one jumping. And folks, they're right there. That, that, that's a trash barrel that's supposed to be up here by the picnic tables. Looks like another one off over there. Don't be that person, okay? You know, treat the environment with some respect. I mean, you know, you, you keep disrespecting Mother Nature, she's going to fight back. And when Mother Nature fights back, well... You can lose your house, your possessions, I mean, even your life in some instances. Because Mother Nature don't play. When Mother Nature comes, she going to get you if she wants you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Ooh, a golf ball. I collect golf balls. But a lot of y'all collect golf balls too. It's kind of a habit. So see, we did find some treasure. Now, if we could just find a good spot for the camera. Which, you know, if you had a little bitty boat, considering that's part of a boat ramp right there, I do believe you might have you some luck there. Oh, let's see if we can get us one more try here. Let's see if I can get the tripod set correctly it 
you look crooked. There we go. I'll I'll try not to stand in front of the camera. Oh, bad gummit. That wind get you every time, won't it? Maybe if we didn't have it standing so tall, might not be a problem, huh? See how we do there. I don't know, I just don't think we're going to see the action we want. We don't get nothing on this one. Well, then we'll just have to call it a day. Because I got to get back to the shade to take me a nap. I think I'm kind of dragging the bottom on it. Oh. Yep, I was dragging the bottom. Well, I guess we're just not going to catch one today. And that's fine, it happens. So say if I was using a different lure, I'd probably have better luck. Agree or disagree, folks. Agree or disagree. Oh, remember to pick up my golf ball. Get repositioned here. And of course, a fish just jumped. See the ripples? Oh. Isn't that just how it goes? Oh, grab the golf ball. Oh, look at here. Litter bug, litter bug, litter bugs. That's a no-no. We'll throw that in the trash can on the way back to the car. That's quite a little walk, too. Didn't realize we had actually walked that far. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, it ain't that far. It's probably not, but, you know.
once you pass 35 <coughs> everything seems like you're going uphill for those of you that's over 35 you know exactly what i'm talking about and of course i'm told once you hit 50 it's downhill run after that and you can't slow down for nothing can't say i'm looking forward to that but keep my eyes peeled for possible treasure and the hunting for treasure anytime i go to a body of water i blame it on jake d almighty and jigging with jordan and old yappy twine twine because you know started watching them do videos and i'm like hey you know that looks fun eventually i will get up to going diving just haven't had the time or the money but one of these days it will happen and maybe we'll come back out here and do a dive video when that happens maybe I mean, y'all that are viewing, I mean, you got to start hitting that like button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all that help a, help a brother out. Because, you know, us YouTubers, we can't do this without you. You know what I'm saying? You help us out. We get to bring you better content. And I want to do more content and better content. But without your help, I can't do that. I mean, if you'd like to sponsor my channel, you know, help fund some of these trips and to make better videos. I'm all for it. Hit me up at something fishy studios, all one word with a Z at the end of studio at yahoo.com. Put in the subject line sponsorship. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And that's gonna, we're back at the car, so that's going to wrap it up hope you all enjoyed the view hope you come out check out the lakes in the area as always much love rock on until the next video have a blessed day everybody